All right, what's up guys? So today, coming at you with another video. This one is about arms. And actually, this is, I believe this is, this might be the first video on just fully arms, which is biceps, triceps. Um, so good day. You know, I think, uh, I think we were doing a whole hour. I think it was like a whole hour uh, workout. It was just uh, like drop, uh, not drop setting, like super setting, you know, doing uh, biceps, triceps, like going back and forth, different exercises too. Uh, anyway, so this video though, uh, I want to talk to you guys about a few things. Oh, uh, yeah, a couple of different things. For example, like creatine reps, should you do them fast, should you do them slow, or, uh, and also like keeping your muscle mass. Um, let's start off with creatine. So creatine, Gets a bad rap, okay? Cause uh, and you know what? Everything gets a bad rap, man. Like, you know, like I know I've I've mentioned the, the same thing before about it's like something else. Oh, I guess like the mass gainers and protein and whatnot. But yeah, creatine is usually like regarded as um, you know, something that's gonna get you bloated. Uh, you know, if you're trying to cut, it's gonna get you looking fat, and that's it's just that's not the case. So what happens is. There are creatines out there that are pretty cheap, okay? Meaning, like, quality-wise, um, you know, like, they, the, the way it's mixed, and it's not, it has to be, and then this was in the books, okay? I'm not making this up, but it has to be anywhere between, like, I guess, like, over 85% pure. Um, because if it's not 85% pure or, or higher than that, then that's when, uh, you know, anything else they mix it with, is like, it, it gets you bloated, you know? That's what it does. So... For sure, you know, try to try to look for something that's like of of good quality. And actually, like online, I've run into um, a website that they show you, uh, like by listing, uh, which are the top either creatines, proteins, whatever it is. You know, whatever supplement you're looking for, they have it there, and like you, it, it tells you like how pure it is. You know, because they actually run tests on the different supplements. So. Um, if I remember or if I find the web page, I'll let you guys know. I'll put it in the in the link in the description But yeah, so that's one thing now another thing is like HCL which is hydrochloride or monohydrate Those are the two most researched ones and actually monohydrate is the, the number one top researched one uh, You get really good benefit because it, it helps you like it, this usually is um, It's powder so you, know, you can mix it with your protein you can mix it with your pre-workout just uh, you know It's it's really easy uh, usually unflavored um, hydrochloride is either powder or caps or tablets. Um, I know some some companies make monohydrate in capsules, but usually you have to take like five or six capsules to like get the whole serving. So I, I try to stay away from that. Um, but yeah, same thing. They're gonna do the same thing. Monohydrate though works by hydrating your cells with you know I mean of course like water, water you know. But I guess that's where it comes from like the whole water retention thing um, when people talk about it. It's just like you know what? Okay, yeah. Uh, it hydrates the cells so you get more uh, power in your cells. So the ATP, uh, that's pretty much the energy your muscles use for, for like, you know, contractions, the power, and all that stuff. HCL does the same thing, but it doesn't use water. Like it, there's no hydration that goes with it. It just puts the ATP in your muscle cells. Um, good example of that is uh, concrete or the uh, creatine 189 by, by GNC. It's actually like uh, the same people that make concrete, I believe, make that one for GNC. But yeah, I mean, like, dude, creatine, it's really good stuff. I mean, you get more power during your exercises. You know, you can lift heavier. Um, of course, if you can lift heavier, you're going to get bigger. And that leads to my third point in this video is like keeping your muscle mass. Um, so keeping your muscle mass, like, for example, say you do creatine, you're lifting heavier, you can recover faster between sets, meaning like, say you have one exercise. And then instead of waiting, or, or at least like it's, instead of having to wait 90 seconds for that recovery, like so you're able to hit the weights again for your next set, you can actually, it cuts it down in time. It's like 30 seconds or 40 seconds, you know? And you know, any little uh, like amount um, or, you know, any, any time you can get off, you know, of like, having to like wait for recovery all that stuff that's you're just gonna be better off you know like you, you any little thing you know one more rep makes a huge difference you know one second a few seconds makes a huge difference so keeping your muscle mass um you know i get asked the question of like you know oh what can i take to to still look big even if i don't go to the gym often 
you know what? That's that's like that's just total BS. Okay, you cannot be big muscle mass. You know, speaking like you know, you cannot look fit. You cannot be big if you are not hitting the weights. You have to hit the gym. You know, you cannot be lean if your metabolism is kind of slow. You cannot be lean if you're not doing exercising. Oh, if you're not doing like treadmill or walking or running every day or every other day you know it's just it doesn't happen that way so advice for you guys is and this is the way it goes okay your body will keep the muscle mass it needs because it has to maintain itself so if someone lifts heavy every day and i'm talking about like someone who can maybe they're not even going to the gym but their job like requires them to like unload trailers or move huge like metal sheets or whatnot for like housing and whatnot like their body is going to look that way they're going to be bigger they're going to be bulkier you know um because that's 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 their like that's their body that's their physique like the physique needs it you know like the body uh, just it's, it's, i guess it's kind of like a, a defense mechanism you know like your body just recovers itself it grows and it keeps itself that way because it uses the muscle but if you're not using the muscle, then like your body doesn't need that much muscle mass. Uh, it doesn't need to be expending so many calories to keep itself that way. It's all about survival. That's the way our bodies are, are, are built, you know? Like if there's no reason for it, it, it just won't happen. You know? So you have to hit the, you want to look big, you want to look the part, play the part. You know, you got to hit the gym, hit the weights, you know, make sure you're eating properly. And you know, everything else just comes with time. Um, but yeah, it's, it's all about frequency and it's all about lifting heavier, you know, like lift heavy. You're, uh, this is a, something that I used to hear a lot. It's like, you're, you are only as big as the weights you move. And part of it is true. You know, like, of course you can do lighter weight, more reps and, um, look bigger, even if you're not stronger. That's a whole other video. It's another, that's another story. That's another talk. Now let's talk about reps. Reps, she do them fast, she do them slow. Uh, what are the benefits of each of them? And actually, there are benefits to each of them. Uh, when you do fast reps, you're actually using your uh, your fast your, what is it, fast twitch muscles. Basically, like um, you're gonna get best of both worlds if you do fast and slow reps. Um, slower reps use your your other muscles, uh, the other muscle fibers. It's called well, slow twitch muscle fibers. But, you know, when you do that, that's actually for strength. Like, um, you still get power and strength if you were to lift any other weight pretty, like, fast. But just look at it that way. Like, uh, you get the best of both worlds. If you do slow, it's like time under tension is a huge thing. So, you know, lifting slow, you get more time under tension. Your muscles, well, your muscle fibers, like, get more damage. Um, and I know it sounds negative, but damage equals gain. You know, it equals, like, good stuff. And you, you, you're going to... Get muscle mass and it, it, it'll be good now when you do fast reps it's more about pumping the muscle uh you actually get more oxygen with more blood in your muscle so it expands the fibers and that's how you actually either tear them up or you get like more nutrients flowing in there um it's like the only difference like fast and slow twitch muscles um, but yeah it's always a good idea so say if, if you were doing like two, two a week like say you hit chest and arms or whatever like your whole body like twice a week uh fully uh, it would be a good idea to do, for example, say the first time you hit, for example, back. The first time you hit back, say it's a Monday, you do really slow, concentrated workouts or, or like lifts. And then the second time you hit your back that day, which say could be Thursday or Friday, you can do fast, uh, you know, low weight and fast reps and just get the best of both worlds that way. Or there's some people like myself, sometimes I'll do really slow, concentrated uh, for the first two or three sets, and then, you know, faster on the last set just to get a pump from it. Well, you know, it's just, it's, it's, that's what I, uh, I guess I want to talk to you guys about, just a couple of things. Guys, thank you for watching the video. If you liked the video and you have any questions, comments, or concerns, just leave them in the comment section, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks. Take it easy. This is Will signing off. Peace.